Welcome to a Slings in Motion exercise favorite of ours. And it's a mermaid with a double spiral or a merman. You can start the movement sequence in a cross-legged sitting position, a tailor sit, with your right leg in front. And if you like, place a soft massage ball to the front of your mat. Take your arms out to the side and then raise your arms overhead with a generous arm circle. Open the arms out to shoulder level, grow even taller. And with your next exhalation, tilt the pelvis back, curl and draw a big arm circle. Inhalation, center the pelvis and the spine, open the arms. Exhalation, curl, big arm circle. Inhalation, open the arms. Lower the arms down. Take your right leg back into a Z-sit. In the Z-sit, your knee can point more forward or out to the side, whatever is more comfortable in your knees. If you are using a ball, take the ball and place it beneath the left side of your bottom, slightly outside of the sit bone, so you can sit fairly comfortably on the ball. Take the arms out to the side again. Create a little bit of lift from the pubic bone up. So your lower back is elongated. The spine is fully elongated. And then you take your left arm overhead in the longest possible arch into the mermaid or the merman position. From here, spiraling, reach with your top hand down towards your bottom hand meaning you are leading with the hand, the arm, the shoulder, then the ribs and the spine. Take your arm overhead, you are in long side bend again, right shoulder relaxed, and now it's a domino-like motion. The left arm leads, then the spine follows, you place your left hand on the floor, glide out, rest on your forearm, lengthen the right side of the body. A slight pelvic rotation, you open the front of the right hip, you revolve the sternum down towards the floor, that's the double spiral. You take the arm overhead again, facing forward, and then reach your right sit bone down towards the floor. Create a side bend in your spine, lead with your right arm, let the weight of the right arm assist the lift of the upper body, long side bend. Spiraling down, reach down, outside in movement. Take your left arm overhead, sternum faces forward. Lead with your left arm, hand to the floor, glide out. Reach your right arm overhead. Rotate the pelvis, open the front of the hips, spiral down, reach down with your right hand. Right arm overhead, lift from your left rib cage. Right sit bone towards the floor, lead with the right arm, glide up. Inhalation into a long side bend. Exhalation, spiraling down, multidimensional mobilization of the ribs, spine, arm overhead, inhale. You exhale with the domino, you glide across to the other side with your inhalation, hip opener spiraling with your exhalation, inhalation into a long side bend here on the floor, and then you exhale and you are gliding up and we only go into side bend. Center the upper body, lead with your left arm again. Remove the ball from beneath your sit bone. You can place it to your right already. Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> and then arms out to the side. With your exhalation, pelvic tilt, big arm circle. Inhalation, center, open the arms. Let's transition to uh, Taylor sit again. Let the breath flow. Shift towards your left side, reach out, extend the leg. Keep reaching, toes to one side, fingertips to the other side, gracefully circle the leg forward into a cross-legged sitting position. Take your arms overhead, lower the arms, grow taller. One curl, big arm circle. Do you notice a difference in the right, the left side of, side of your back? Open your arms, relax, and then Let's change. Left leg back into a Z-sit. 
take the ball again. Place the ball beneath the right side of your bottom, a little bit outside of the sit bone. You let your left sit bone lower towards the floor. Can you let go of your deep lateral rotators, your pelvic floor, yet keep the pelvis stabilized, the lower back elongated? Take your arms out to the side. Actually, no, that's not how we started. We started here. You take your right arm overhead into the longest side bend. You lift from your underneath rib cage. That is the sense. You fan the top rib cage open. Lead with your right hand. Reach down by sense. You let the shoulder follow, the shoulder blade, the rib cage, the spine. It's a domino like sensation. And then spine, rib cage, shoulder, arm overhead. Domino again, the arm leads, the weight of the arm takes the shoulder, takes the spine, hand to the floor, you are gliding onto your forearm, length in the top side of your body, and now open the front of the hip on the left, revolve the sternum down to the floor, reach from the fingertips, reach away, take your arm overhead again, sternum forward, and now you lift. Underneath rib cage again, sit bone down onto the floor. The arm leads, the spine follows, you are gliding back into a long side bend, spiraling down, mobilizing the ribs, the spine, strengthening gently the oblique abdominals and spine rotators. I really love that bit. Lead with your arms, arm, minimal effort, a softening, nourishment and hydration for the fascia. And then the rotational movement of the pelvis, opening, lengthening the hip flexors, lengthening the muscles on the side of the upper body along the spine. Again, into a long side bend, reach the top sit bone away, lead with your left arm, Glide up with minimal effort. Inhale. Exhalation, mobilization and glide. Combined with length and strength. Arm overhead. Inhale. With your exhalation, the minimal effort domino. With your inhalation, the length in the top of your body. With your exhalation, the opening in front of the hip, the length in the waistline. Arm overhead. Inhale. Exhalation, reach away with the left arm, glide up. We only go into a side bend, softening through the left side and then center, let the breath flow. Remove the ball from beneath your sit bone. In set sit again, and maybe you feel a difference in the set sit. Maybe your left sit bone is a little lower. That, that would be awesome. If not, that's awesome too. It really, it's all good. You can take your arms out to the side again, raise them overhead, out to the side to shoulder level, grow really tall, and then exhalation, tilt the pelvis back, curl. Inhalation, open, transition. Exhalation, curl, let the breath flow, shift the weight to the right, open your arms, extend the left leg, reach. A little bit of strength here, abductor muscles, oblique abdominals, back muscles. Take the leg forward, cross the legs, take your arms overhead, grow even taller, and then a curl. Exhalation, curl back. Inhalation, open. Take your arms overhead, exhale. Lift the sternum up towards the ceiling, inhale. And one more time, a soft and open curl. Open your arms. One more time, arms overhead and the longest arch. Lifting from the sternum, long back and then center your spine, lower your arms. I hope you love the sequence as much as we do.